Hello guys, there have been many changes in new patch. It revived many heroes, especially my signatures such as Meepo and Visage. Today I'll talk about Visage changes, about my impressions and how to play this hero now. And later in next video I'll talk about new Meepo, so subscribe to don't miss new videos. So let's start from Visage changes. Firstly the attack animation was increased, so now it's more pleasant to last hit creeps on lane. Also wealth increased familiar damage. Now with level 1 birds we farm many times faster and can easily kill the enemy in the mid lane. And with second level builds we deal really big damage in a fight, and third level builds break the enemy base in a second with new damage and buffs. Also Visage Agonim was changed, now he is really strong. Agonim grants Visage and Familiars invisibility for 35 seconds, allows you to pass through textures and increases move speed by 20% for the duration of invisibility. When Visage or his Familiars exit invisibility they deal 30% bonus damage on 4 seconds. In fact with Agonim we can constantly run in invisibility visibility and look for kills. So this item is now the main one on Visage. Aghanim Shard was also added to Visage, which gives hero a stun like familiar. With Shard our passive becomes an active ability, when pressed the hero stuns everyone around, becomes invulnerable for 6 seconds and restores 25% HP. In fact, this is a very cheap safe item, if we are focused on a fight, then we press it and heal up. I take a shot in every game and advise you. Skill build for Visage remained the same, cause neither talents or abilities were changed for him, but the item build has changed a lot. Now in the beginning I no longer take Medallion, because her cooldown is now 12 seconds, it's very unpleasant to farm and make kills with it. Instead I take Op of Corrosion, which gives additional HP and slowdown, and besides it affects on tower instead of medallion. Also I no longer take Vladimir, in my opinion he has become too expensive and it gives too little for his cost. Instead of Vladimir, now I always take drums as the first item, they are nicely assembled from a mantle for 6 intelligence, which can be taken at the lane stage instead of the second null talisman, but the coolest thing is that now drums have 8 charges instead of 6, that is we can fight constantly in early stage. As for the boots, in most games I take the usual boots of speed, or tranquil boots if you need to heal HP in the game, for example against Zeus or Tinker. After drums and top, I always take Aghanim, it makes us very mobile, allows us to run through textures and gives us additional damage with which we kill almost any target. After Aghanim we have a choice either to take Akira's or a Hex, now I almost always take Hex after Aghanim, because often enemies have escaped and we don't have time to kill them from invis, but literally any target dies with a Hex. And by the way don't forget to take the Aghanim shot after 20 minutes, it will save you from death in the fights. And also it's additional disable, that's really useful. In most games if Aghanim, Hex and Kiros, the game will be automatically won, cause with new familiar's damage you will really destroy enemies and base in a second. As for the gameplay, because of the increased damage to birds, it's easy for Visage to make kills in early stage. But I still prefer to farm level 12 to get second level birds and Aghanim, and with scepter spell run around the map to look for kills in invis. Now Visage gameplay is similar to the clings, most of the game you run in invisible, it's also hard to catch you and you quickly kill any target due to high physical damage. It's important to remember that invisibility from Aghanim is visible on sentries, so move carefully so that the enemies doesn't definitely notice you, for example by textures or by zones that there are definitely no wards. If you get focused in a fight, don't forget to use the spell from the Aghanim shot. To use the spell, press button E. And what about lane? I still prefer mid lane, cause you get your items and level faster than on side lanes. But at last time of lane visage also looks really good, so you can test it. To win lane it's enough to max your second spell, our new con lane is really strong, cause he charged all the time. So now with new changes Visage became really strong in all game stages, at start he farms faster with new builds and items, in mid game he can constantly make solo kills with Aghanim and Snowball really fast. And in late game Visage is still strong with new birds damage and a more flexible game style cause of new Aghanim. Actually this is all I wanted to tell you about new Visage, but also soon I'll release my gameplay on Visage in new patch, where I will show in more detail how to play the Visage correctly. Thank you all for watching, if you enjoy video you can subscribe and press like button, see you.